In this part of the Metroidvania series, our little astronaut wants to reach for a big rocket pickup. Maybe he will need to defend himself in a pretty unfriendly world? So let's quickly create a pickup including a pretty canvas item flash in less than 5 minutes. Giving your game feel this little extra boost. Sounds good? Let's get started. As nearly always in our tutorials, we are getting things going with a new scene. Root node of this new scene will be an Area 2D named Rocket Pickup. We drag a roughly prepared rocket sprite onto the canvas, for which we then add a collision shape 2D and adapt its size. It's always a good idea to make the size of your shape a tiny bit bigger than your sprite itself. Because getting the pickup easier feels a bit rewarding for your player. And here a slightly exaggerated demo level showing you the relationship between collision shape to D size and player game feel in more detail. Uh, well, anyway. Last note to drag into the scene is our audio stream player node and into the audio stream player node we drag in the pickup sound. We'll finish our rocket pickup scene by attaching a little script to our Area 2D node. Just a few more lines of code to get the pickup ready. First we check for a body entered event of the Area 2D. And connect this event to the body entered function in the script. Our function then checks if the body is in the group player, which will later on trigger our canvas flashing effect. We get an onready var reference to our audio player node and last but not least our pickup makes itself invisible after being collected. Let's quickly add our player to a new group player and save our pickup scene. Oh, I just realized that I still use my favorite not readable editor theme called Ugly Poo Poo. Yes, okay, yes, I know, yeah. So please take a second look at the finished pickup script with this more eye-friendly editor theme. Thank you. You're too kind. Thanks a lot. Now we need to name our first collision layers environment and player in the project settings. In the rocket pickup scene we do not need a collision layer for our pickup, but we mask for the second layer where our player is. Back to our main scene we can simply drag our rocket pickup scene into this scene and place it where we want to. Compiling the script, boom, the pickup is already pickable by the player and makes the desired sound. And makes the desired sound again and again and over and over again. So let's quickly change that by adding a visible condition to the player group if statement. Let us also clean things up a little bit after picking up the rocket. We connect the audio stream player's finished signal to a function in the pickup script which will destroy the pickup note in the scene. Now it's time for the canvas flashing effect. First thing we need is a canvas modulate note. So we can put all the other stuff in the scene under this note as a root note. And delete our main note because we have no use for it anymore. Our flashing effect itself is nothing else than a quick animation. This animation is called pick up and we are modifying the canvas items modulate property. For this reason I'm inserting a total of three keyframes into the animation and the only difference is that for the second keyframe our alpha value is set to zero. The duration of the animation in total is 0.2 seconds. Unfortunately, the canvas modulate only affects all of our foreground stuff like the player, tile map and the pickup. That's why I have to add a second property track to my animation. Here I change the modulate value of my background sprite in the same manner. And my last note for the scene is a timer which is used to adapt the total playing time of the flashing animation. Keeping things quick, I've already prepared a game control script, which I'm loading into my canvas modulate node. Then the timeout signal of the timer in the main scene is connected to this script. The animation player stored in an onready var is stopped by the timer signal and resetted by passing the true value in brackets. 
I also need to mark my timer as one shot and correct the path to my connected pickup signal, which we implemented earlier in the rocket pickup script. Oh, what's that? I called the animation pickup flash within the script. That's why I finally rename the animation name in the editor. If you now compile the scene, you should get a nice synced audio and visual effect for your pickup. Now our little astronaut is not in as innocent as before because he's now able to shoot and destroy and kill. But this will be the story of another tutorial in this series. Thanks a lot for watching and of course for your big patience during waiting time between episodes. Hope to see you soon.